little nervous. Hello, internet. Hello, internet. My name's Catherine. Um, you guys are gonna know what this video is because you can read the title. Um, <laughs> this is my coming out video. So yeah, I am bisexual. I have known that I was bisexual since my freshman year of high school, so I'm not questioning, I'm not doubting, I'm not experimenting, I know, I know who I am. Um, and I've known who I am for four years now. I have just always been terrified to tell people about it. If you go to college with me, you probably already know this because when I went to college, I decided that I was just going to be exactly who I was. So uh, there wasn't a coming out process when I came to college. It was just who I was as a person. So if you go to school with me, you probably already know this. Um, my mom knows, my dad knows, my family knows. So this isn't their like first time hearing this. So hey mom, <laughs> how's it going? A couple of my friends know but for a good majority of people, this will be the first time they're finding out. So yeah, um, I like both girls and boys. I do currently have a boyfriend. He knows I'm bisexual. Um, nobody turned me bisexual. I dated a guy for two and a half years in high school and I knew that I was bisexual throughout the whole thing. He did not know. He's probably watching this. Hey Cameron. It had nothing to do with anybody else. It was everything to do with just me and who I am as a person. Um, so nobody turned me by. It's nobody's fault that I'm by. It's just who I am. I guess I'll just kind of tell you guys about how I like first knew I was bisexual, I guess. Um, it was my freshman year of high school and I was in, um, this is like a scary story to say when like I know people who go to my high school like are gonna see this video, but that's fine. I was in weight training class and there was this girl in my weight training class who also liked girls and I remember just like getting along really well with her and then like feeling like, wait, do I like her? <laughs> like, like, do I like, have a crush on this girl? And I have like always kind of told myself I was straight like throughout my whole life. When I was like younger and I'd be like shopping with my mom if she was like looking at things, I would like go up to like the female mannequins and like hold their hands and stuff and like pretend I was like dancing with them, <laughs> which is like really weird and embarrassing. But I would do that and I remember when I got like a little bit older, I was like, am I gay? But I was like, no, like I can't be gay, I'm not gay. That's later on when I realized you can like both boys and girls. And that was a very freeing and beautiful experience to be able to be like, oh my gosh, this is what I am. Because I knew I liked boys and I, it's, bisexuality is such a spectrum and not everybody is like, I 50% like boys and I 50% like girls because I like boys. I tend to like boys more than I like girls, but I do like girls. <laughs> um, anyway, I realized I had a crush on this girl and I'm so thankful for her, um, just for like helping me realize who I am as a person. So shout out to you, you know who you are if you're watching this. So yeah, that's when I realized I liked both boys and girls. And then later on in my freshman year, cause I would hang out with this girl a lot. We never dated, but um, we both liked each other. Rumors started to spread that I was bisexual. Um. And that's not a fun thing when you're like trying to figure yourself out and you don't really know exactly how you feel about everything and when things like aren't in your control, you don't like when things become out of your control. Um, which is why I think I waited four years to come out because I wanted this to be able to be my choice and not something I felt like I had to do or something I felt like I should do. I wanted it to be something I wanted to do. I never really dated a girl. I haven't kissed a girl. Yes, I'm still bisexual. <laughs> People ask me this a lot. Like, like, when did I first kiss a girl? When did I first date a girl? You don't ask a straight person who hasn't had a boyfriend or who hasn't kissed a guy yet if they know that they're straight. 
just saying, like, you don't do that, so, um, <laughs> you don't get to ask bi people or gay people that either. Um, it is weird because I am in a seemingly heterosexual relationship, um, but I'm not heterosexual, so that's fun. Um, I have a lot of privilege being able to do that. Um, it's a lot easier for me being in a seemingly straight relationship. Um, just society likes to accept that more than they like to accept same-sex relationships, but I do really like girls too. <laughs> when I came out to my mom, uh, which is one of the scariest things I ever did in my whole life, and I talked to my therapist about it a lot beforehand, um, because I'm like a goofy person, so I wanted to write a song to come out to my mom, and I wanted to be <laughs> And like I did not end up doing this, thank god, because I think my mom would have just like cried hysterically not knowing what to do. Um, but I almost like, sang her a little jingle that was, that was like, Bippity boys, I like boys. Bippity boo, I like girls too. Bippity bye, guess who's bye? And I didn't do that, thank god, because I that would just like... I came out to my mom my freshman year of high school and it was during a very rough time in kind of both of our lives. I didn't choose the best time to come out to her, so if I had done that, that would have been a disaster. I also almost like called her into my room and like went in my closet and then was like, guess who's coming out of the closet? I'm bisexual, but I also didn't do that. I just sat my mom down on a couch and said, I like boys and girls. I'm bisexual. And I have a very accepting and loving family, but that's a weird thing to process when you've never even considered that your daughter could like girls also before. So um, that was one of the hardest, most emotional, worst conversations I've ever had in my life just because I, and my mom and I have talked about this later on, so hi mom. Um, <laughs> We've had this whole conversation, but she didn't want me to come out in high school. Um, and there was a lot going on, and she did what she thought was going to be best for me because she knew that people in high school can be ridiculous and rude and crazy, and she didn't want me to have to deal with that. But it hurt me so much, and I didn't even want to come out, but it was such a painful thing um, because I remember feeling like she was embarrassed of me or like she didn't want like my sexual orientation to like ruin her reputation or something and it just took that choice that like should be mine away from me um but we've talked about this since then and she's apologized to me and that was like one of the most meaningful conversations I've ever had with my mom but if um if you're watching this and your child has just come out to you, or um, you think your child could be bi or gay or whatever, um, just support them through what they're going through. Because trust me, they are feeling so many emotions at the same time. Because it's a really scary thing, especially because I was, I witnessed gay marriage and all that stuff being illegal and then being legalized and our generation has just grown up through so much and I'm so blessed to be in a place where it is accepted and everybody here that I know accepts me and it's not a thing where like oh you also like girls it's it's there's nothing like that it's just who I am as a person um and I'm I'm really blessed to be able to have that but please just accept your your friends your children your siblings whoever for who they are because they're still the same person um i came out to some of my best friends um just a couple months ago and it could not have gone any better <laughs> than it went I love them so much. You know, it's weird when you're a girl who's bi and you're coming out to your friends who are women because you don't want them to think you have a crush on them. Um, also, PSA, we probably don't have a crush on you, <laughs> like, we just 
probably don't. Um, so just don't assume that, but you know. So I was like, I want you guys to know, like, I've never had a crush on any of you. I hope this doesn't change anything. And all of my friends were like, why would this change anything? They were like, we love you for you. We don't love you for who you love. Um, and they were just like making like jokes about like how I have to tell them about my first date with a girl or like whatever. And it just like really could not have gone any better. Um, so I'm really blessed to have had that. And uh, this is a video I've just wanted to make. This is something I've wanted to like just scream from the rooftops for like three years now. And I just hadn't because I never found a right time. Um, it was something I was still not comfortable with because even if it is who you are as a person, it can be really hard to come to terms with that when throughout your life you just didn't even consider that to be an option. Um, I know I just like told myself I was straight throughout most of my life. It was like as if that was like the default or something. Um, but I'm not and it's not and that's okay. Um, and I am so happy with who I am as a person and I'm so happy that I'm able to like make this video and feel comfortable enough talking about this and if you are feeling questioning your sexuality or anything like that please know that you're not alone because a lot of people do this and you know if you couldn't tell by me dyeing my hair or me dyeing my hair again or me wearing flannels or like it's so funny because after I tell people I'm bisexual they're like that makes so much sense <laughs> because um I, I have some like stereotypically bisexual qualities but at the same time I have some qualities that are like you would never guess which is just how sexuality works because like you can never guess anybody um nor should you because then you're just making an assumption and making a stereotype and that's not fun um i've definitely had fun experiences where i've been like out and i've like seen a girl who i think is really cute and i want to like go up and talk to her so i'll be like you're really pretty like and she'll just go oh my gosh so are you and then that's how I know that she's straight <laughs> and um that's really fun <laughs> but um I've, I've tried sh shooting my shot a couple of times before I was in a relationship obviously um but yeah it's a really freeing feeling to be able to be who I am if you're one of my friends from home or somebody that I know or a family member or a friend of a family member or a friend of a friend or somebody who sees this video if my mom posts it on Facebook or whatever and um, you don't support me for being bisexual peace out um, it, it was rad having you in my life but I don't need that negativity anymore so um, that's that. I don't care how you feel about my sexuality, because it's my sexuality. Um, so feel free to comment whatever you want to comment, or send me whatever you want to send me, or say whatever you want to say. Um, you're not gonna take the gay out of me. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, yes, I am a Christian. Yes, you can be Christian and be not straight. It is possible. Um, no, I don't think God hates me. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to address anything else. If you have any questions, any um, boiling concerns, comment them down below. I probably won't respond because I don't feel the need to, but I might. Um, so yeah, this has been a long video, but I guess I kind of just wanted to address everything um, that I've been thinking over the past like four years of my life. Um, but I'm really happy, and I'm really secure, and I just wanted to let you guys know. This is honestly not even mainly for my subscribers. This is mainly just for the people that I know in my life. Um, that I am bisexual, and I am happy, and I am in a healthy relationship, and I am supported, and I support you, regardless of your sexuality and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, that was my video.
I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't make coming out videos every week. I make videos about traveling, fashion, makeup, school, all that stuff. So if any of that interests you or you think you like my personality after watching this video, uh, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I make new videos every single Saturday and I would love to have you. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you for exactly who you are. Um, 